Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Build a Snowy Kingdom, episode 2. I spent the time in between our episodes copying and pasting our modular wall until we had a full city wall. So our city is broken up into multiple sections and tiers. The first tier is where all the common houses are going to go, the market, and buildings such as those. The tier behind it that's slightly elevated is going to be where the wealthy citizens and the higher class buildings are going to be placed. That wall on the right leading outside of the city is where our harbor is going to be placed. And that giant blank cube is going to be the castle, where the king lives and gives all his orders from. And that's what we're going to be building today, the castle. Like I said in the previous episode, this whole series is going to be heavily inspired by Byzantine structures. So an overarching theme in this building is going to be a lot of towers with a lot of circular domed roofs. Each side, except for the one that's carved into the mountain for obvious reasons, are going to have these half-circular towers. And due to the size and the repeating themes of this build, I'm going to be using World Edit a lot, so once I finish this tower, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it over to the right. So when I was building this castle, I just so happened to have the Return of the King on in the background. So this whole triangular outcropping was inspired by Minas Tirith. After adding that gigantic triangular outcropping with World Edit, I had to come back and detail it a bit. That includes defining the shape more and adding some detail to the side. And then coming to the top of it, just adding in the crenellations. And then it was time to come to the giant cube and start carving away at it until we got a rough idea as to what the castle's general shape is going to be. And I also went and outlined the window that's going to be on the front above that triangular outcropping. And then in the corners that aren't surrounded by a mountain, I added a square base and then copied our circular tower, the top part of the circular tower, on top of that. And with one side of the castle done, it was time to copy and paste it to the remaining sides. Wherever there was too much flat stone brick, I went ahead and carved in a layer to reveal a layer of cobblestone and the stuck stairs in the corners to get an arch effect. Right now our castle has these two plus signs, one big one on the bottom, one smaller one right on top of it. The bottom layer is going to have this wood roof to try and give it a royal palace theme. The layer on top is going to have fortifications and crenellations to give it a castle theme. And I'm doing this because I want to marry the castle and palace themes together. And here I'm just outlining with pink wool what the top part of our castle is going to look like, including a circular tower on top of the plus sign. Corner spaces of the plus sign were very empty, so I decided to add this little fortification here with crenellations, and then add in a brazier. Coming back to this window, I wanted it to mirror our triangular outcropping, but it had to be smaller for obvious reasons. And the whole copy and pasting destroyed our mountain a bit, so I had to come in with World Edit, use sand to go ahead and repair the mountain, and then I went ahead and turned that back to stone, added snow to it, so it looked completely natural. And I added this T-junction onto what's going to be the front of our castle to give that plus sign a little bit of diversity. On top of that, the wing facing the mountain got deleted. Another design choice I went with was altering the height of these wings. As you can see, the T-junction wing is a lot taller than the normal side wing. I'm also copying those braziers on the lower part of our castle to these top fortifications. And don't worry, I am going to light them, I just could not stand the sound when I was building. With all the fortifications done, it was time to move on to the central tower. The roof of this tower is going to be a dome, but it's only going to have a 50% incline. As for the design of this tower, I'm copying the bottom section of those circular towers that we first built. Coming to the front of our castle, I added in these crenellations, and I also went ahead and extended our window a bit. And where that pink rectangle is, I copied and pasted the gate from our walls. Thank you. 
So that's it for this video. If you liked it, click that like button. If you want to see more from Let's Build a Snowy Kingdom, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next episode. Joe Bowlby out.